So this is the output. A previous model wouldn't be able to pull this off. Say this is not bad. Yeah. This is way better than the previous ones. What's up guys, in this video, I'm going to be looking at Stable Diffusion XL, which was announced two days back, which is like an upgrade to Stable Diffusion 2.1. And it's great at creating detailed images, hyper-realistic images, images like these, and especially text, which has been an issue with a lot of text to image generation model. It's currently in beta and available on Dream Studio and it will be released as an open source model in the near future. Remember, the previous two stable diffusion models were also open source. What I mean by that is that you can download this model in your local system and play around with it without really paying any charges to use the model. Push. There are some highlights, right? The photorealism, image composition, face generation, shorter prompts to create descriptive imagery, greater capability to produce legible text, rich visuals and jaw-dropping aesthetics. You can go ahead and read it out if you want. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be trying this model and comparing it with Midjourney V5. I have, I have a list of six prompts that I'll run. Basically, these six prompts are kind of a logical story of an adventurer. I'm going to be running this across both Stable Diffusion XL and the Midjourney V5. In order to access Stable Diffusion, you have to go to Dream Studio, which is like a platform where you can run all this. Uh, you'll have some, I think, 25 credits to use the model. And you'll have to choose Stable Diffusion XL, which is in beta right now. You can choose the style if you want, right? So there's anime, enhance, comic book. Um, I'm just going to go with X enhance at this point. And these are all generic things, right? So I'm assuming you, wanna, you know all of this, right? So this is the prompt where you will tell what you want to generate. Next is negative prompt where you tell things that you don't want in the image, right? So there's uh, blurry images or broken limbs, broken arms, all of those things you have to tell model to not have. So it will do like a check to ensure that these things are not uh, included as a part of the output. I'm going to compare this again with mid journey V5 output to see the kind of results. We so let's get started. Let's run the first one. Right, I'm going to run the same in mid journey V5. Also, since we are on Discord, uh, we have a community for generative AI enthusiasts on Discord, uh, where we answer all the new questions and share the learnings happening in generative AI, right? So uh, if you're interested, feel free to kind of join this channel. It'll kind of help you up your game with respect to generative AI in general. So it started the generation, right? I'm going to wait for some time. Just a quick heads up, right? Uh, the last time I compared Stable Diffusion 2.1 versus Midjourney versus Leonardo, which is yet another tool to generate text to images. Midjourney and Leonardo came neck to neck, but Stable Diffusion did perform very bad, right? So it had two points from a total of 10 points that we had compared or 10 images that we, did, we had compared on the platform. Ikaba's story was that an adventurer discovers a map, then he kind of embarks on that journey. He then finds an ancient sea creature in the depths, offering guidance and wisdom to the adventurer. Then he arrives on a hidden island where he finds a magical forest. He then finds a hidden vault within a ch some hidden chamber or a temple. And then he comes back and sharing the tale of a gentled voyage with his friends and families gathered around a cozy fireplace. So we'll go through one by one, right? So this is the image for the first result where he found the map before he embarked on the journey. Honestly, like it seems more cartoonish in nature. Um, we look at the mid-journey generation. It looks way more realistic, right? So especially this one and this one. For some reason, there are two people here. Generation and the realism of the generation is way better for mid journey, at least at this point of time. So next you, um, the adventurer kind of takes forward and begins a sea voyage, right? And if you look at the generation for Stable Diffusion XL, I think it's just, I think it looks like it's kind of taken a picture from some photograph. You can also see watermarks here and generated the image. So then there's a like, there's like an entire crew on the ship. So you look at the generation of mid journey, it's kind of focused on one protagonist. It's kind of going on a voyage and any day, if you look at the both inputs, right, this seems way better. So if you look at the scores, two scores for uh, mid journey without question, right? So third one. When it discovers like a sea creature, I think these are better generations than the ones that we've seen before. It seems still cartoonish in nature. Let's see what Mid Journey has in store for us. Way more scarier, way more real. Uh, the only um, the only problem that I see is that some of these have two adventurers, while this one has one. Uh, this seems like the sea creature wants to kind of devour this. The the only one that seems most aligned with our prompts is this one, where. Uh, Looks like the sea creature is kind of willing to offer some guidance. There's also a ship. So I really, really like this generation. Um, the quality of the output, the nature 
of how the protagonist is kind of communicating to sea creature is way more accurate on this one so we have the next one where um is coming to some hidden garden this one is obviously has two people right so it's directly out this one is moving through the garden this one seems good but um again if you look at the generation by mid journey right so way more realistic especially this one right um and this one it's kind of coming out from water somewhere and um uh, it's way more aligned with the prompt that at least we had entered so yeah um i think at this point you know the difference between mid journey v5 and stable diffusion xl this is the final generation i don't think this is second final generation where he kind of discovers a hidden vault um and look at our generation on mid journey things this one looks very good uh, while the face is not done well um uh, looks like it kind of discovered something it's trying to access it right compared to it compared to this one where it seems like it's entering some well, I, i don't think this is bad this is way still way better than the previous ones but comparing it to mid journey I, i don't think it done that job at this point i don't know maybe changing style will change it uh, but i i am not 100% sure at this point right so and this is the final one where the adventurer kind of arrives home my problem is with these watermarks right it seems like it kind of coming out directly from some sort of comic book you look at mid journey right it seems way way more real and um, some of the this one looks good this one these three look good this one seems like doesn't seem like uh, a protagonist has come back again this one too has some watermark in there i'll try one generation to show you if it really does that well on the text image one of the things on the website says that it does well on the text now and i'm going to try this saying that post apocalyptic wasteland with one billboard saying yash on it let's see the kind of let's see the kind of output we get with this we're going to also try some hyper realism uh, generations to see how those work so this is the output um this one looks great my name has correctly come on the uh, billboard whatever that is on top of gate but yeah previous model wouldn't be able to pull this off so confirm that it does really does better than better on text than the previous models uh, but the rest of the generations don't seem so good right so i'm going to try one realistic generation that had worked really well on mid journey and leonardo so i'm going to see the kind of output stable diffusion xl can generate i would say this is not bad this is really good generation uh, compared to the previous model while i think there's still some scope to go more realistic let's try it with photographic filter filter and compare it yeah this is way better than the previous ones trust me and it also does a great job in general to kind of generate images that are hyper realistic like this it does not seem like an ai generated image trust me and and yeah that's pretty much all i kind of wanted to talk through the video itself i hope this video helped thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one